Hi everyone, this is Waverly West with Texas Private School Media and I'm here with Coach Harrison, the head coach of the San Antonio Holy Cross football team. Coach, how are you today? Doing great. Uh, the, the football panel was a ton of fun. I enjoyed that immensely. Yes, uh, getting so to hear Coach Laverne, Coach McGuire, and Coach Dan speak. You know, you kind of feel like you're in the presence of some really smart guys right there. Yes. So, yeah, it was fun. For sure. All great coaches. So, this season, y'all obviously are coming off of a great uh, season last year, a state championship appearance. Uh, what are you looking to build on for this next year? Uh, what With the guys you've got coming back, what are you looking for uh, with all of those guys? Well, on paper, I think we've got a pretty good ball club. Last year was kind of sure. the dream season and special but on paper, we feel like we've got a, a really, really strong group of young men coming back uh, that are going to represent the school with a lot of pride. My only concern is, you know, you don't want to get complacent. You don't want to be For satisfied. Sure. Yes, you, I think you that's wanna, a great mentality. You want to build on what you did and not just sit the same. So, yes, a lot For of sure. work, a lot of work. For sure. Uh, so I see the 426 on your shirt. That's a big thing to y'all's community, not just y'all's school, but y'all's uh, entire culture. Yes. Kind of talk about what that means to not only your football team, but your school and the community. So I get to tell the 426 story, and I'm going to be quite honest with you. It's a really special story, so okay. not everybody gets to hear it. Okay, I'm excited. Um, a few years ago, our head softball coach, who was my offensive coordinator at the time, and has been one of the most successful coaches in our school's history, was looking for a way to motivate the girls' softball team going to the state tournament. And he realized they were going to be playing in a large stadium, a lot different atmosphere than Holy Cross. For sure. So he takes a scoop of dirt mm -hmm. off of the softball field. Okay. And he takes it with him. There. And he says, no matter where you go, 426 will always be with you. Wow, that's, that's our school that's address. That's really cool. Yeah. yeah. Zip code. So what we did is we took it and we built on it what we call the six principles of 426. Okay. And those are the things. 426 is maybe a physical address, but 426 are those six principles that you will carry with you wherever you go the rest of your life. Mm -hmm. So for sure. forever, if you're a Holy Cross Knight you will have those six principles in, in basically ingrained in you. Mm -hmm. It's a really special thing. Uh, it's a, a huge source of pride for our community. So yes. Waverly, it is um, it is what unifies us and brings us together. That is so cool. Wow. What a cool story for just the school's culture. And kind of speaking of the school's culture, I uh, saw in the news a big piece of kind of new thing around y'all's team this year is that the Holy Bowl is coming back. Your team, Holy Cross, versus the Central Catholic Buttons. That's coming back for the first time in a few years. Would you just kind of talk about that, how excited sure. everyone is for the matchup, and what a cool atmosphere that's going to be for your fans? Sure. The, the Holy Bowl is is probably one of the finest rivalries in San Antonio, Texas. I would uh, agree, yes. There has been um, there have been so many different rivalries, so many different schools that play each other, but in private schools, Holy Cross and, and Central Catholic, just an, it's an incredible rivalry. It, you know, with us being Division Three, they're Division One. it always kind of cycles back and forth where we can play and work it out and we can't. So the fact that it's coming back is going to be huge for the kids. It's going to be huge for the communities. Yes, uh, for sure. It's going to be a full stadium, I can assure you oh, of that. What an atmosphere that's going to be. Oh, it's going to be fun for the kids. Uh, it'll be on TV. Um, I, I love the, the idea of it. I, I just hate sometimes I think it takes on a life of its own. Yes, for sure. It's, gotta, yeah. it's just one game. It's not your whole season. you got to keep exactly. that in mind. Exactly. It will not define the entire season, but yes, it will define sure. that one night. And to our <laughs> alumni, oh, it, is, it is a huge deal. Uh, yeah. I have already had alumni asking me uh, how we're going to do in week three and what does week oh, three man. look like. So wow. no pressure, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so what a fun night that's going to be. That's circled mm -hmm. on everybody's calendars on week three for sure. Yep. So, I've asked you kind of the hard questions about your football team. Now I'm going to ask you just a couple fun questions. So, sure, go first ahead. and foremost, what is you and your team's go-to pregame meal? Where do y'all go? Uh, what do y'all eat? Uh, the go-to pregame meal. This is actually, actually, this would be Coach Salas, our offensive coordinator. He is the guy who organizes all pregame meals. But it seems like the go-to meal is usually chicken fried steak. <laughs> wow, that is so fun. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> yeah, they – I don't get to eat it like they get to eat it, but they really love chicken fried steak. 
Hey, well, that's great. Okay, and then uh, also, so you've coached for a long time. I think you said 36 years. 36 years. You have seen so many great players live. Who is your kind of Mount Rushmore, your top four players that you've seen live, that you've coached, that you've coached against? Who would that be for you? Uh, gee, in high school, I got to co I got to play against Eugene Lockhart, who played for the Dallas Cowboys. Yeah, very cool for sure. Um, the Mount Rushmore of, of the players that I've had the privilege to coach is a young man named Rodney Thomas. Um, God rest his soul. Rodney was a running back at Groveton, Texas, when we won the state championship there, and I was a, a third year coach. Didn't know anything about the game. Rodney was was the best football player I think I've ever been around one-on-one -on -one. he wow. he was incredibly fast incredibly talented but what made Rodney stand out to me is he was a better man wow, that's he, awesome he was the most Christian young man I've ever been around there was a young man in our community that had been shot in a hunting accident and Rodney Rodney went to see him and it was very evident to, to everyone that the young man was not going to make it and Rodney took his state championship ring off and gave it to that young man's family. Wow. And when he passed away, the family wanted to give the ring back, and Rodney said, absolutely not. I'm going to – I want you to keep that. It's a gift for you. Uh, there was a story when he was at Texas A&M. Uh, he, he didn't – there was a Coke machine that was malfunctioning, and players would walk by and punch it, and the Coke would come out. And Rodney would – he went to his room and got his jar of change – and every time they would come by, he sat by the Coke machine and put quarters in because he couldn't stand the fact that his teammates would be thieves. Wow. Um, what an incredible story. You oh, love he, to see it when it's not just that their athletic abilities are amazing. You love to see when their faith plays into it and whenever they are just good men and not just good football players. Uh, you know, he's kind of the ideal. And I, I vowed as a coach, he passed away a, a few years ago, um, and I have vowed as a head coach that I will always, always, always continue his story yeah. and that I will tell it to, to every young man I get the right and privilege to coach because, you know, those are the stories we need to hear. And sure. he was just that young man. Wow, that is such an awesome story. Thank you for sharing. Thank you, Waverly. Okay, uh, I'm going to finish with one little fun activity. So I am going to have you draw the Holy Cross logo from memory. Oh, and I got this. <laughs> oh, you got it down. Okay. Some coaches have done really well with this, and some coaches have struggled a little bit. So we will see. Looks like he's got it down. I got it. Oh, I yeah. Do this wow. Really well. <laughs> Even outlining it. I, could, I passed coloring in kindergarten. <laughs> okay, there show the camera. Go. Wow. Hey, that is spot on. The shirt and that, I mean. Wow. I think. It's the best one. I'm best sure one it we've is. seen all day, for sure. <laughs> okay, well, Coach Harrison, thank you so much for your time. It has been a pleasure. Thank you. Waverly, so much. enjoyed it. Thank you so thank much. Thank you. This has been Waverly West with Texas Private School Media.